The decision to develop and drop the atomic bomb was one of the hardest choices in history. This has led to great discovery, but greater destruction. August 6, 1945. Destruction. August 9, 1945. Death. Who did this? Who was so evil to kill so many seemingly innocent men, women, and children? Adolf Hitler and Nazis started out as just a protesting hate group, but soon grew much more when Adolf came to power of Germany. He promised the impoverished Germany food, safety, and warmth if they fought against the communists and Jews. The Nazis were allied with Japanese soldiers who would have the opportunity to kill themselves for their emperor, Hirohito, as well as once an ally with the communist leader of Russia, Stalin. Stalin and Hitler were both planning to stab each other in the back, but Hitler did it first and declared war on Russia. <laughs> December 7, 1942, Pearl Harbor. Japanese planes attacked the American post in Hawaii called Pearl Harbor. Almost all marine, air, and foot soldiers had been killed, and their transportation and war vehicles were destroyed. Roosevelt, the American president, met up with the Allied forces leaders. America had been previously neutral due to its depression, but now they are coming in fierce and fast. The Allies now consisted of Great Britain, France, Soviet Union, and America. Meanwhile, Einstein discovered the law of relativity, where great amounts of energy is stored in an atom if it is split. Einstein warned Roosevelt that it could also create a weapon of unimaginable power and destruction. In Germany, Otto Hahn and his assistant Fritz Strassmann bombard an atom. They use a new process called nuclear fission, and as proposed, making a huge release of energy. They made this happen by using the highly rare type of uranium, 235. They made this happen by using the highly rare type of uranium, 235. Einstein was the only one on Earth that understood what would happen and what he had made, as well as what destruction it, it could bring. General Leslie Groves, previously worked at the Pentagon, was put in charge of the Manhattan Project, a race to build the first atomic bomb using nuclear fission. This project takes place in Los Alamos, New Mexico. He put in charge a seemingly crazy but brilliant science professor, Robert J. Oppenheimer. Together they get a fully functional project working in less than two months. He met and invited a half of a million scientists to work on the project. One scientist proposed the idea of the Nazis getting hold of the atomic bomb and the destruction it could bring to America and the world. Production and testing started immediately. Secrecy was most important. Something leaked, it could mean the end of America. The one serious problem was scientists could not talk to each other about the solution of uranium production. P Process was so slow that plutonium was decided to be a better material to use. Meanwhile, Germany was creating assortments of new weapons. No one knew how close they were to an atom bomb. April 12, 1945, Roosevelt died of a stroke and Harry S. Truman took office as president. Nazi soldiers were surrendering all over the world and had lost ground quickly. Finally, on the 7th of May, 1945, they officially surrendered. The war in the Pacific sees no end. All Japanese citizens had been taught to protect the nation no matter the cost. In America, the scientists in Los Alamos created the first plutonium core bomb. They named it the Gadget. Test results of the Gadget could end the bloodiest war in history. Truman waited to hear the results, which depended on the plutonium core. The test results were perfect, just what they had expected. Truman tells Stalin, which he thought he would be surprised, but Stalin already knew, meaning they had us in their midst. 
America bombed Japan constantly, hoping for unconditional surrender because they wanted to end the war before they had atomic bomb. A little boy was created, which was the first and the only uranium bomb. Paul Tibbetts was chosen for the mission. He would fly the Enola Gay, a huge B-29 bomber plane, took off with the little boy bomb to Hiroshima. Then, a shockwave that reached 8 kilometers destroyed everything else in its path. 80,000 people lost their lives and thousands more would lose their lives over the months to years due to radiation, cancer, and burns. Still, the whole country of Japan had no conception of surrender. Truman addressed the world as the plutonium bomb, Fat Man, was being carried out once more by the Nola Gay and piloted by Paul Tippett. The first target was Kokoro, but because of the cloud cover, they headed for the second target, Nagasaki. Another absolute destructive loss of 60,000 people. Once again, people were killed over the months by burns, cancer, and radiation. Shadows of victims were permanently printed to walls and sidewalks by the immediate flash. Despite this, the armies weren't even thinking of surrounding. Groves was ready to drop a third bomb to stop this war, but Truman put a rightful stop to this since Japan finally, after being invaded by the Soviet Union and two atomic bombs dropped on, surrendered on September 2, 1945. Prisoners of war were all released on both sides, and once again American, America celebrates. The war in the Pacific was finally over, and secrets were also over. The Manhattan Project is released to the public. A new era began, one of fear, danger, possibilities, and spies. Russian spies. Klaus Fuchs and Theodore A. Hall were captured. We tested atomic bombs against our Navy ships and found the danger of radiation in nuclear test crossroads. When we seemed inches away of starting an atomic war in the Bay of Pigs, we created the hydrogen bomb. The creation of that H-bomb killed Oppenheimer's spirit. After realizing his role of killing over 140,000 men, women, and children, Oppenheimer weighed heavily on his mind. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. You can see it in his eyes, too ashamed, too sad to look straight at his countrymen. We helped rebuild Japan. We have destroyed or disassembled most of our atomic bombs and missiles, even the crazy ones like the atomic bazooka and the atomic grenade. Los Alamos turned into a fully functional city. Robert J. Oppenheimer passed away on February 18, 1967 from cancer. There's still people alive that lived through the atomic blast, most of them severely physically damaged. More than 140,000 people have been taken by the bomb. Nuclear power plants, nuclear reactors, and much more benefits have been made since the atomic bomb, but we can never forget the cost of new discoveries. There has been 13 presidents since the creation of the atomic bomb. Some of the hardest decisions in history have involved the weapon to destroy mankind. The bomb is still the source of heavy decisions in the world today. <laughs>